In this video, I'll show you how to download and install an Elementor template kit in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on envato.elements.com. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and download our template kit. Okay, so Envato, it's actually a subscription. I do have a few free templates as well, but I'm just going to show you how I actually found and um, downloaded my particular templates. Okay, so I just typed in Elementor template kits. Well, just Elementor kit, I think. Okay, then we'll filter it down to WordPress. We'll filter it down to template kit. And then here we can select the various um, different industry, right? Since we usually create um, e-commerce um, tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and select shopping and commerce, right? So now we can just see our shopping templates. And I believe the templates I downloaded is this one here. So if I open up a different tab, I'm actually logged into Envato Elements. Where is it? And we can just click download here. Since I've already got it downloaded, I won't do it again, um, but then you can just download it. Okay, so this is a um, template that we'll be downloading. We can also preview it as well. So if we have a quick preview, we can see our templates will look like this, okay? All right, so assuming you've selected your templates, um, downloaded it, let's show you how you actually go ahead and install it, okay? Okay, and a few things. Um, they actually recommend using the Hello theme. You can use other themes, but most of the templates are kind of created with um, the Hello theme in mind. Because when you use different um, themes, they'll start to inject their own theme styling, which can conflict with the particular template kit that you'll install. So I'll navigate to Appearance and then Themes, and then I'll go ahead and change my theme to Hello theme. Okay, yep, so currently it's set as Storefront. So I'll just activate Hello Elementor. And if you don't see this option here, just click Add New. And then you can just search for um, Elementor, okay? And now the final, okay, so this is where you'd search for Elementor. I think it's one of the most popular um, WordPress themes. If I'm not mistaken, it's usually at the top here. Now the next step is we actually need to download an Envato plugin. And we're going to use that plugin to upload our template kits, okay? So I'll just navigate to plugins, add new. And then we'll go ahead and search Envato. And it's this one here, Envato Elements. So we'll activate it. Oh, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to click activate. Okay, so now we should see this element section here, and then we'll navigate to installed kits. And then from here, we'll see all the different um, kits that I've um, installed previously. Okay, so I've installed these two, and now we'll go ahead and install the one which I mentioned um, in the intro. Okay, so let's click download, and it's this template kit here. So when you download the template kit as well, you don't need to unzip it because we want to just upload it in its a zip format. OK, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import um, the global kit style. OK, so this is any like um, colors, any fonts and so on. So I'll go ahead and import this. And usually as well, um, based on the particular template kit that you choose, usually they do come with um, required plugins, okay? So usually you have to install the required plugins to get it looking exactly like um, the demo. Okay, so we'll click install required plugins and here we can see we've got a few plugins that we need to install such as um, essential add-ons, um, Elementor editor and footer builder, this met form here, and then the default color scheme default typography. So we'll just click install all of these. Once you've got a hang of things, you can start to remove some of the plugins. For example, this form plugin, maybe you want to use um, gravity form or um, WP form or something else. So you can swap things out as you go. Okay. So I've got an error here. So I'm going to actually try refresh this page and see if that works. Okay. Maybe it did um, install all the required plugins because I can't see the option here anymore okay so now we'll actually import the specific pages that we want for example we'll go ahead and import the home page and i'm going to import the newsletter form and we'll import the header as well and also so we'll import the footer and also the header as well okay so that's imported fine which is great so now we'll import our header section and also our footer section as well Okay, so that's imported fine. Um, so ideally, usually you'll import all the different um, templates. If there's multiple different home page, and maybe you just want to import the home page that you actually like. Um, okay, so now the next step would be to actually go ahead and again we'll navigate to templates. This is the Elementor template section, and then we'll navigate to Theme Builder. 
Okay, and then for header, so I'll just click on this header section here. Um, here you can see we've got various different um, header design. Um, honestly, I'm unsure which <laughs> I'm unsure which um, one of these templates is the one that we just installed. I think it could be this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this um, header section here, and we can always just replace it. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so this is a header design from a different template. So I'm actually just going to delete all of these. Okay, and then I'm going to click this um, Envato icon here. And then where it says installed elements, I'm going to go and view the kit for this particular template. I'm going to go ahead and insert our header template. Okay, and here's our header template design. And we can check out the responsiveness as well. Okay, so that looks fine. If, for example, you didn't want this button, you can always just go ahead and customize it, right? I'm assuming you have some familiarity with um, Elementor. Okay, so we can go ahead and customize it if we choose. We can change the background color to red. You can add your logo and so on, okay? And then we'll just update this. Then we'll do the same for our footer section because this is a basic structure of our website, right? We've got our header and then we've got our footer and then we've got the content in between. Okay, so I'm going to exit um, back to the theme builder and then I'm going to click on our footer section here. Okay, so this is just showing one footer section. So hopefully it's um, from the template we've just installed. Just to double check, we can also click back on here. Okay, so it's a different template design. So we'll just insert. So we'll insert the footer design from this particular um, template. Okay, and then we can remove this one. So then we can update it. So now when we view our website, okay, so it's looking a lot better, okay? We just need to fill in the content. So we'll create a home page. Okay, so currently this is our home page. And to edit this home page here, we'll just click edit with Elementor. And let's say you didn't have a um, page called home or whatever the case is, you can always just create a new page and then just click edit with Elementor. Okay, so we'll just delete um, these sections. Okay, then we'll click this Invato element. Um, whilst we're here as well, so here we've got our installed kits. We can browse um, premium kits and we can also have a look at free kits as well. So if you didn't want to pay for um, a premium template, you can actually just go ahead and install a free kit. So I'm going to click back on this template, which I've already downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and insert our home section. Okay, and now we've got our home page design. Okay, and you can just configure it to suit your particular needs. Okay. So as always, we can customize um, all the text. So we can just change the title, make it our own. Okay, swap out the image, delete um, sections that we don't want. I'm just going to undo this. Okay, and then when you finish, you just go ahead, update say changes then we can view our home page okay so currently it's showing this home button here so we just need to do one last thing to get rid of it so we'll navigate to settings here and then we'll click hide title okay and then just update okay perfect and that's the install a Elementor template kit in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.